All right, guys, so quick overview on the orders app. This app is gonna show you all open and closed orders for the day. Again, very important, that's for the day. So, go ahead and select your orders app from the home screen like usual. You're gonna see all of your open orders for the day listed here. It's gonna say open. If there's any closed, one, closed ones, it will show that as well. Go ahead and select orders. You see you can add payment to the order. Reopen the order to add items to it. Combine the order with another order. So let's say two people come in, they realize, hey, I know you, I know you. Let me pay for your food. All right, cool. You can combine two orders into one, reissue a bill or a receipt for that order, or delete the order entirely. All right, guys, here is how you would filter orders. What do I mean by filter? Very easy. You see here in these blue highlighted section here, you have open, all employees, all tenders, all sources. Those are filters. So let me start with open. Since right here, this is selected open, it's only gonna show me my open orders for the day. But if I wanted to filter that and I wanted to see all the closed orders for whatever reason, I would select orders and you can see, you can see all orders, open orders, paid, partially paid, refunded, partially refunded and manually refunded. This is important because you always wanna be able to filter what you're looking at. Because if you just did all orders, you'd have to physically look and it's a little annoying. You gotta find what order you're looking for, blah, blah, blah. But if you just do it this way, it's a lot easier because now, oh, let me see all my paid orders. Boom, they all automatically pop up right there. Any of my refunded orders, who's doing refunds, you can find out who's do, who did the refund there, et cetera, et cetera. Now for employees, so once you have your employees already fully set up in the Clover device, let's say you have an employee, Mike, and you wanna see what orders Mike ran, just select all employees and let's select Mike. Mike doesn't have any orders, Mike's not working. Cool, at least you know that. To go reset it, you would just select Mike again and select all employees. Tenders and select tenders. You can see all of your cash sales, any sales that got in a cash discount, all your credit card sales and pin debit sales. So you can track very easily, get into your reporting and see how many credit card sales you did. If you're looking for an order, but you don't know which one, you know, a lot of the items have the same prices, but you can narrow it down to credit card. Again, and select credit card. Now it'll be shown here. Credit cards for the day, unfortunately. Let's see cash. This will show all the cash orders, paid or unpaid. Now, last but not least, all sources. What this means is in-store orders, online orders, but if you have any other tenders like, uh, let's say, pickup or takeout, delivery, you'll be able to filter all your delivery orders, your takeout orders, or your in-store ones. Very simple. All right, guys, here is how you delete an order on the Clover device. Just a friendly heads up here, guys. You cannot delete an order that says paid. Very important here. So like we learned, just to make it easier from the last video, we're gonna filter the orders to all the, pay, to all the open orders, apologies. This will show you all your open orders. So to delete it, very simple, select that open order, big red button here, delete order, confirm it. Now you can see it's totally wiped out of the system, it's not backed up on the cloud or anything, so it totally leaves the system, leaves everything, no trace of it. All right, guys, let's say you want to add order notes. Your first step is making sure that that is enabled in your setup app. So let's go to the home screen by hitting that circle right there. You're going to look for your setup app. It has the wrench and the screwdriver. Okay, wait, for, give it a second to load. Sometimes it takes a couple seconds. This is a very important app. Now you're going to go select orders on the left side. You're gonna make sure that's checked. You see enable order notes, that, that blue check, make sure that's checked. So let's say it wasn't, you just select it to check it. Don't have to hit save or anything, it'll automatically save itself. So now when you go to orders, you select an open order, you can now create an order note, which is very simple. See that button right there that says note and select that pencil. Let's say this person has a seafood allergy. You wanna note that down, okay? You don't even have to hit save or anything. So now, 
when you look for that order, okay, I got an open order under Joanne. They're sitting in the main dining room. Oh, they got a seafood allergy. Let's make sure the cooks know that. Perfect. All right, guys, here's how you close an order. Obviously, the paid orders won't really apply here, so you're gonna wanna make sure you're filtered to all open orders. You learned that a couple videos ago, so I hope you remember it by now. Now, let's just go to any open order. Let's just say one with some money on it, 30, 41, perfect. Now, to close out the order, you're gonna wanna add the payment to the order. Big green button, add payment. Then, you're simply gonna take your card, put it in the chip reader, locate it right here, or you're gonna select how much cash they gave you. So let's say they paid by cash, select the amount, pay cash, your draw will open up, your receipt will print, and you will hit done. That's how you close out an order.